Welcome to All About Refacing. It's a Q&A show all about kitchen cabinet refacing. We've got three new questions for you today. Let's get to it. How long does cabinet refacing typically take? Uh, it depends on the size and the scope of the project. You know, every house is different size and every kitchen has different configuration to it. Um, and then the type of the refacing that you're doing always makes a difference as well. So I would say on average anywhere from three to five days for smaller projects and could be up to a week or week and a half for larger projects, depending on you know, what is involved, what version of refacing you're doing, who's doing it, how many people, all those different kind of things. Um, but, you know, while it's always a concern how long it takes, I would say the most important part is how well does it turn out? So don't be concerned about it taking a certain amount of hours or days. Be a little more concerned about the actual final results and how things look, feel, and function in the end. Um, if it takes an extra day, it's probably well worth doing that. So don't get too focused on it being real fast. You know, I know it's marketed and sold to people like it's quick, cheap, and easy, and anybody can do it. But the real truth is it's carpentry and it's happening on your kitchen cabinets in the heart of your home. The details should matter. Um, so focus on the details, find somebody that does focus on the details, does good quality work, and don't focus so much about how long is it going to take. Do you have to remove countertops to reface cabinets? No, that's one of the advantages of cabinet refacing is you can completely rehab, update, customize your kitchen cabinets without the need for new countertops, floors, walls, all that type of stuff. There are a lot of situations where people are doing countertops and cabinet refacing combined in one project, but it doesn't necessarily have to be at the same time. Most of my customers will get their countertops installed within the waiting period of their lead time, placing their order and getting the cabinet facing done. So by the time I'm there measuring and ordering everything for the cabinet facing and get back a couple of months later to do the installation, the countertop has been done in that prior time, which I think is a wise way to do it if you're staging it all together. But otherwise, yeah, that's one of the advantages of cabinet facing in general. You do not have to replace your countertops. How do I estimate kitchen cabinet refacing? Well, there's not a great way to estimate it yourself. I mean, you can look around online and get some rough ideas. Um, there are some people that can give you quotes through photos and stuff like that. I do that a lot for my customers. But the real way is to decide what version of cabinet refacing you want, understand a little bit about the differences and the variables, decide which versions suit your house best in your situation, and then find providers that have those versions, get comparable quotes from there. Um, because refacing is just one of those things, it's a very specialized field, prices, products, service options are just all over the map. So it's certainly one of those things where you have to get multiple quotes, have a good understanding of what you're actually shopping for, and pare it down from there. Thanks for tuning in. If you have questions about refacing, put them in the comments down below or use the contact form over at allaboutrefacing.com. Everything we discussed will be linked down in the description below and we'll see you in the next one.